Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today for a month or so of Dino, I've got something special of a Trustbaster map because this one is fresh as can be. It came out yesterday. It's another map from Trustbaster Guy, and kind of funny, it's actually the map that I said I was looking forward to him finishing, which is the InGen Compound. A map that sounds like it's got some pretty fancy stuff going on, even though it is not a huge map, but it is a puzzly map. And it sounds like the reception to it when it was beta tested by the Trustcom folks was pretty good, so I am looking forward to taking a look at this. I also don't know too much about this. The only thing I saw in the thread that might be considered- ooh. Fancy cutscene. I don't think I've ever seen a Trustbaster map that had an in-game cutscene rather than just playing like a little video clip. Your mission, locate the abandoned InGen compound, retrieve the genetic data stored there, and use your radio to get picked up. So yeah, we are an agent being sent deep into the South American jungle to an old abandoned InGen research facility to steal their stuff. Here we are. I'll take a look around. I did change some of my settings because I loaded this up and it did not have the best performance, but that's because, again, my default... CE settings are too high for modded maps, so I usually have to adjust it. On your belt is a Glock 18 with 10 rounds. On your shoulder is a handheld radio. But I was going to say is the only thing I actually saw mentioned in the thread was a gate puzzle that people thought was tough but clever. When you've collected all the genetic data, use the radio to call in your evac. Alright, so we don't want to look around too quickly because that's where we're getting a little bit of stuttering. Got a, uh, is that a packy? I see that dome shining from a mile away. Crunching away. Also a lot smaller. I think this is the only time I've seen a packy that's closer to the scale in the movie, rather than, you know, the huge ones that were, like, using the Parasaurolophus skeleton that we've seen in other maps. Oh. Is he, like, actually knocking the leaves off as he eats them? Alright, we got the laser pointer Glock. I like how this has become, like, the agent weapon anytime there's an agent mentioned in a level. And we got our radio. I assume we're gonna want to hang on to this for the entire level. Oh, this must be the gate right here. I know someone said they tried to platform over it, which is obviously not gonna be the solution. Can I climb these vines? No, I cannot climb these vines. It's locked. So this is a puzzle. Um, we got like a power panel. Doesn't really look like I can do anything with it. Hmm. Well, thinking back to Lost World, as well as Fallen Kingdom, though that was a Cyracus or not a Cyracus or a Stygma lock. I can think of one solution that might open the gate. <laughs> but how are we going to get this to work? He's not going to attack me, right? Yeah, he's very interested in those leaves. Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> I was like, he's very interested in those leaves, and he's not going to leave them unless we take out. Take one of them with us. Aha! You like that? Huh? Huh? Oh, he likes that. Alright, let's, uh... This is a very clever puzzle if this is actually a solution. Which I assume it is, because why else would this leaf be a thing? Originally I thought it was just like a, a neat little effect that they were falling off as he was eating them, but... It seems like only one of them fell. Come on! Maybe if I drop it... Huh? A single leaf over there? Better leave my tree for this. What if I... <laughs> Go. Hacky forth. I'm guessing there is some kind of scripting going on here that makes him more drawn to that over the other ones. Maybe it has a higher nutrition value. But then he he's like... Hesitant. Come on. Yeah, you want the leaf? Yeah, you can't have the leaf. Not until you do your job. <laughs> I 
That's it. Get the leaf. Oh. Uh, I don't have it anymore. <laughs> Seems a little annoyed with me. Well, <laughs> I was definitely between him and that gate when he smashed it. That's a cool puzzle. I like that. Good boy. I'm gonna get away from this rowdy boy before he kills me. Also, this is the JPDS Asha model. Which is notable because the health cube doesn't quite match the rest of the skin color. But it's not like you can just, you know, copy-paste the color. It's a... has to be a range of flesh tones. Alright, so... where's the facility? We got... a bunch of buildings over there. Got something coming up on me. Raptor. Another one of the newer JP3 models. It's gonna be a pain pulling out that radio every time. See, but this is the kind of area that I think works best for Trespasser, is having it all kind of fenced in by mountains. Because that way you don't have these endless planes that you're not actually supposed to go down, and you don't need invisible walls, because it's all kind of naturally condensed in. But of course then you have to actually make the terrain around it, and it seems that TPG went a little over the top here with actual mountain ranges instead of just hills. There's even a waterfall over there. So yeah, I guess we've got kind of a, a valley here to explore. Did it say how many genetic samples we needed? I wasn't really completely paying attention to the text that I read out loud. I know, it's something I always give other people shit for doing, where they read text and then don't remember it, but when you're trying to do an intro at the same time, you tend to cross your streams. Alright, so not a Parasaurolophus. That is... Hadrosaurus? Pretty sure. So I guess we should be in the puzzle mindset here, where I have to try and consider things that might not be possible in Trespasser, but might actually be. Because, you know, that's been my limiting factor in other puzzle maps, is not assuming you can do something in Trespasser. And that the example of luring the hacky into the gate is exactly an example of that. Did I just say that example is an example? <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Just a cozy couch in here. Is this, uh... Is this the geothermal tower? Well, it's locked. Somehow I don't think that a 9 mil is going to be our key here to open that door. We have some crates, and we have a crate over there that says, please stack me. Ooh. Frame rate took a real hit there from the crate. I never understand how you, like, slide off of these crates when you're jumping. But again, it's because N's leg cube is not the most stable surface. Is this one heavy? Or did I just grab it in a bad spot? Uh, this one actually does seem to be heavier. I think it's slightly larger. So we'll push that one here. God damn it. <laughs> Shoot the box if it gives you too much trouble. I mean, I will say that modded maps do not have nearly as many puzzles that can be solved by shooting them as Trespasser did. 
when they realized that was the easiest puzzle to implement with their physics system. It's just, hey, there's something you can't reach? Shoot it. And it'll fall down. Let's uh, <sighs> gently drop in here. Geothermal plant. Status, bad. So, geez, there's a lot of a lot of panels here. We probably have to start this up if we want to get into the facility fully. Okay. Can't pull that yet. Not even with Stretch and Strong. What about this one? Nope. So, we probably need to do something else before we can do that. Just, uh... Run my hand over the computer, make sure there's no buttons here. I don't think there is, but gotta be sure. Toilet. Always gotta be wary of toilets, because you never know when they might just flip out and kill you. Okay. The quick save button is F9. Which I never use because I forgot how it works. It doesn't actually say quick save or anything. It just makes a quick save. This toilet seems to have been made safe and secure. There is no physics on it. <laughs> I'm hidden in the garbage. You never know when you might find a great ball in the garbage. If you were Steven Spielberg, you'd be smiling too. At 50, he's the most successful filmmaker ever. Sorry, movie maker. No. New exclusive look at the man behind the... Does it say budget? Okay, we got a TV. I mean... If this door doesn't open, that's actually kind of a problem, because, uh, there's no other way out of this building. Hmm. And we're sure that the switches don't do anything, right? Also, the circuit board, the exposed circuit board in the South American jungle, which is clearly still going to be working. You have to... Be very aggressive with switches like this, because you never know. Sometimes they might actually just be stuck. But I think these ones require me to do something else first. Which we're not going to be able to do in here. Seriously, how do I get out of this building? These doors don't look like they are ever able to open. I think I could just push the... Oh, there we go. I did actually just have to push the button. That's what I figured when I saw that they had those, but then it didn't seem like it was immediately working. All right, so we opened that at least. Now we just have to... Anything in the boot? No. Nope. Now we just have to figure out the order of the system. Turbine shed. Oh, got stuck in the ceiling. Is that another Glock? <laughs> pockets and pockets full of Glockets. Danger, hot steam. Maybe I want to get hot and steamy. No. These are also currently not active, so they are not the step we need. These ones do not open. Not that they need to, because there's a door next to them, but... I was kind of hoping that every time we saw those, we would know that we can use it for that purpose. Okay, this door is a little sticky. You know, it's kind of rusty. Let me actually look at the order of the systems to see which one we need to fix. Okay. So, 
It looks like the intake is the problem right now. And then I guess that's probably the turbine there. And then maybe the facility. So is this the intake here? Because it doesn't really look like it's attached to anything. <laughs> the intake, but how do I do anything with it? I don't see any valves or anything I can twist to get it moving again. I don't know, I thought this tree being here was <laughs> meant to obscure something, but... Hmm. Alright, maybe we gotta do something else that leads into this. So I'm not seeing... Well, I don't know. Maybe I gotta clear this bush away? Is it an obstruction? No, there's not really anything to grab here. It's all just sprites. Okay, well... <laughs> Every time I see that barrel turn towards me, I'm expecting it to fire. It's been so long since I shot myself in Trespasser. And generally it happens when you're trying to like shoot a raptor and then it pushes the barrel towards you and you shoot yourself. It can happen when you drop a gun, but it's very rare. Let's say that let's just go this way first. I do see a water tank. Maybe that's relevant to our water problem. And we've got the Jurassic Park classic cage from the start of the movie. Has that been used in another map before, or is that new here? There's something moving in there. Is that a fan? I thought it was just something that was out of detail draw distance. But now it's, like, spinning. Yeah, I've never seen these in another map. So I don't know. But again, there's always going to be more maps than I've actually played, so... Could be in one of those somewhere. You have... This seems kind of dangerous, having a ladder on the outside. But I guess sometimes you need to get on top so that you can... Stab it with a syringe on a stick or whatever. got the DNA lab, which needs a white key card. We got a garage. Or garage for you Brits. Another one here with a broken key reader. Reminder, Juarez has the key card. Juarez was in the raptor enclosure, apparently. Nakamura, Balfour, Juarez, Dietrich, Ortiz, and Huang. So you got the DNA lab, we've got, I think, the raptor pen, some kind of watch out tower, and. Whatever that last icon is. Oh, that's the geothermal plant. We got a fan blade here. Or, I guess that's for an engine, not a... Well, an engine fan is still a fan. Motor oil. I'm just wondering if any of this is useful, if we have to, like, fix something with one of these. Okay. Nothing important in here. No key cards. Well, I guess Juarez has the key card, so we're going to have to go find him in the pen. I think there's anything in there? There's like a crate in there.
And there is a lot of boxes in this room. I don't know. Anytime, anytime I see the crates, I assume that I'm supposed to use them to get into something, just because that's how Trespasser works. But sometimes crates are just for decoration. I don't think there's anything in there. Also, I don't think I can fit through that gap. You can crouch into some pretty small spaces in Trespasser, but usually only if you can actually reach it without jumping. Crouch jumping isn't really a thing. Okay, we have a smashed fence back here, the helipad. That's probably where we escape. No? Really? You don't turn on the water tank? That would have been, like, my obvious guess. <laughs> You won't need to access the helipad until after you've collected all the DNA data and used the radio. I was gonna say I could just drop the radio here, but so far there hasn't been a reason to since it uses the rifle slot, and we haven't found a rifle. Again, ladders are semi-functional in Trespasser. Big pile of shit. Nothing else in there, though, but I bet we're gonna get ambushed when we go in there. By the shit owner. Or shit producer. Uh, so there's the genetic facility over there. It looks like there's something behind it. Maybe that's where the helipad is. And not much else in terms of water. I mean, there was that waterfall, right? But that's off in the distance, so... That's not gonna be affected. Ooh. What do we got here? I actually do not know what this is called. It's not the Vector rifle, is it? I know Vector has a spacey looking rifle like this, but I don't think it uses a, a bullpup configuration. Maybe it does. Definitely a new gun, though. I've never seen that in a Trustbaster map, and it's pretty <laughs> high fidelity, so I think it was created specifically for CE. So this might be entirely new. I'm sure one of the uh, K-Mandos will recognize it in the comments. Some folks that know their guns even much better than I do. <laughs> Alright, um, how do we actually... Does it not have a front sight post? You know, the little notch that you're supposed to line up in that ring. Alright. Um, so is the key card in this pile of shit, you think? That is one big pile of shit. Oh no, I've taken the flies with me. <laughs> They've nestled in my ears. Bone? Keycard. Haha. Intuitive. Uh, okay, she grabbed it from uh, pretty weird. I guess bull pups are going to have kind of a problem with Trespasser since they have to clip into your arm in order to line up, you know, with the magazine. Okay, so now we have the key card, but I'm pretty sure the door won't open until we turn on the power. So I think we gotta figure that puzzle out first. Now, 
It's no good. So I am going to place this over here and hope that it doesn't fuse through the table or anything. It's kind of gray. I mean, it was a white key card sitting in a pile of shit, so maybe it's just not <laughs> all that clean anymore. But that's kind of gray as well. I don't even know if we really need this gun. We've seen one raptor so far. I suppose these cages kind of imply that there might be at least three raptors around. Though only one of them is open, so I don't know. Oh, here's a path I didn't see. And that looks like a water tank. Hmm. Okay, so is this the intake, or is this the outflow? Because I might have mixed up my two signs and was looking at the outflow when I thought it was the inflow. Because it said the outflow is fine, so it would make sense if that's the one that we don't have to do anything with. But there's a cave back there, so maybe that's the intake. Oh man, an actual corpse, and like a much more detailed, that's a, is that? <laughs> Looking at it, I was like, is that a corpse model from that Walking Dead game, the one that stars Daryl Dixon, the one that I did a playthrough of on my channel, the survival instinct? So yeah, not to, uh, not ever that you see an actual like detailed corpse in Trespasser. Cool though, and makes sense. We also got a much higher fidelity MP5 than I've ever seen in Trespasser. Like there has been MP5 models, and there was one in the vanilla game. The one that for some reason has a silencer and no stock. But yeah, he's Trespasser guys definitely busted out some fancy new gun models for this. And a corpse model. Compare that to, like, the corpse in Christmas Crisis, the one that's just the Alan Grant model, but kind of bloody. Okay, so assuming that this is the intake over here, let's find the source of the problem. Because that light right there is red. I don't know if that's an actual functional light. Nor do I know if this is a button. I think those are just textures. What appears to be the problem over here, folks? Uh, okay. <laughs> I was like, is that an invisible wall? Am I not supposed to go back here? Aha, this is indeed the intake. I was looking at the sign wrong. Got a uh, Beretta 93. 93R. Since there is no non Rafika version of the Beretta 93. Which, if I remember correctly, just means, like, full auto in Italian because of its ridiculous rate of fire. There are a lot of guns in this map so far though relative to the amount of things to use them on. Okay. I mean, this seems to be kind of dry in here. But maybe it's pulling from an underground reservoir. I'm going to keep turning this until it doesn't turn anymore. Always a safe bet with these kind of valves and wheels. Yeah, I'd say that's probably the on sound. Well, now I have too many guns. Actually, I guess since I'm not carrying the radio, I can put that on my bet. Oh, no, I am carrying the radio. What did I put down? The key card. Sorry. Because I'm not carrying the key card, I can grab this. Oh, I hear a carnivore. Somebody was summoned forth to kill me. Yeah, what are you gonna do from over there, idiot? Can we just fucking brace the stock on the pipe? Okay, that's not gonna work. 
Hold on, I'll deal with you in a minute. Never mind. Deal with you now. I lied. I'm not gonna save you for last. I feel like he's like taking cover. You know, originally in Trespasser, you were intended to wound dinosaurs to scare them off rather than outright kill them. Like, that was their original design goal before that proved to be too complicated. I have this book that's just a bunch of post-mortem from various 90s projects, 90s and early 2000s, and surprisingly, Trespasser is in there, it's info that I don't think I've seen elsewhere. <laughs> Remember last time I saved? <laughs> it's okay, though. We know the order to do things in now. So, no progress lost. We'll just go do the water first. And uh, maybe we'll grab this MP5 since we don't have the fancy gun anymore. Come to think of it, I don't think it is the vector rifle, because if I remember, the vector rifle is more uh, rounded edges for some reason. Do I really have to go all the way around to get that? Or I could just use a crate. That seems like a pretty crate idea. Nope, never mind, it's too heavy. I retract what I just said. Note to self, don't be overconfident, even when it's just one raptor. Make a save before you fight him. Jesus, how did I get up here? Oh, you have to go all the way. I think we can handle him with a pistol. <laughs> I guess we have two pistols, because there's a first pistol in there. Which is one of the worst guns in the original game. I mean, all of the, the automatic pistols or burst fire pistols are pretty useless, since they either do like no damage or are just impossible to aim. So now let's turn on the turbine. So far, the puzzles are not too complicated. That first one is probably the trickiest one to reason out. But I mean, if you see that leaf fall, I feel like that's the, the key thing. If you don't notice that when it happens, then you probably wouldn't be like, oh, I can probably pick that up. Ow. Hmm. Almost clever, but got himself stuck in a wedge you can't fit through. That slow reduction in jiggle after they die. Okay. Now I'm assuming we got to turn the turbines on. Try not to get steamed. Uh, that's the, the only one that functions. I was wondering if I was going to get steam if I held on to that too long. So, I believe we should be able to throw the switches in here now, and get this place back online. Yep, geothermal plant's on. So now we just need to activate power. And away... we... Go? <laughs> I can't pull them all the way down because of where she grabs them from. Maybe if I just, uh, yeah, do it like that. Just push it. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. I'm gonna quick save. All right. Now we head back over to the facility, grab our key card again, deal with this raptor that's hiding in the bushes. You gave away your position. If you'd stayed in the bushes, I wouldn't even have noticed you. Like those ones in dinosaur hunting that all are standing in bushes. <laughs> Get him? No, I still hear him thumping. I'm trying to get away. Look, I never asked for this, but you you made the decision to come at me. So yeah, it is also interesting. This has been done in a only a few other maps and more recent ones, like Morning Starring's maps. Having raptors spawn in at specific progress points instead of just being in the level already. Because I feel like that works better than just having them all around where you can just gun them down. Because that way they can actually ambush you. Or just come out where you didn't expect them. Of course, the fact that they make a constant kind of low growl does sort of give them away. All right, InGen facility, round two. Or should I say round poo? Throw that in the pistol pile. I really did expect a raptor or two when I dug into the shit though. Got a little too deep into the ladder. There we go. Grab this thing of a jig. I'm sure that I'll just insert <laughs> fucking text saying what gun this is afterwards, if I can find it. Good enough. Ouch. It's okay. I did quick save, like I said. Probably should have quick saved before jumping off, because I had a feeling I was going to go too far in a few places. But, since this is a nice, condensed little map, I don't have too far to go anytime I die. I think this is actually full auto and not burst, like the Trespasser one. The B93R is a ridiculous gun. It fires way faster than is manageable for a friggin' pistol. Like, it has a ridiculous rate of fire, something like 1200 rounds per minute. Which, again, it's a pistol, not a submachine gun. And it has a 20 round magazine, so that's gone in the blink of an eye. But, it's got a neat little, neat little flick out pointy bit that you hold on to when you fire it full auto. I don't know that we're going to need that much firepower, also I just realized that the helipad is right there. So I don't know what's in that valley back there, if anything. It looked like I could go down there though. The antenna on that radio just looks like a barrel of a gun every time I see it over my shoulder. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know if we're really going to need a gun at this point, but I'm going to have one in case we do. Because it seems like why else would this be up here unless you needed it at some point, since there hasn't been any spawns around here yet. 
All right. So I'm not going to be so impatient that I don't use the ladder this time. Save a little bit of kneecap. <laughs> Stuck at the door. <laughs> or the floor, I'm not really sure, but I'm stuck in Zumba. Okay, now... Uh. Again, try to squint past the titties to actually see what's below me. Unfortunately, I cannot wear these. And it's not like frictional games where I can just drop it on my head to have it balanced there perfectly. And again, you don't necessarily need the hint, but I'm glad that they have a very useful hint if you do need it. Because, like, I feel like some of these maps, you really do have to just guess what you're supposed to do or where to look for something. And, like, you know, if you've seen Jurassic Park, you might go, oh, that looks a lot like the pile of shit that Ellie shoves her arm into. Maybe I should shove my arm in. But if you don't get that, you know, here's the whole schedule to be like, hmm... I just noticed that, well, the jump sounds have been removed, and that's a, always a nice thing. It seems like all of the ammunition count stuff has also been removed, so you have no idea how much ammo something has or if it's empty when you pick it up. Okay. We don't have the correct hand. Are we going to need to find someone's hand as well? Uh... I got my gun stuck on the side of my body. Maybe we don't need the gun in here. I'm just gonna place it on the ground until we do. Got a nice little kitchenette. Anything in the microwave? Uh, the microwave does not seem to want to open. I think it's stuck in the counter. Come on. No, oh, nothing in there. What about the fridge? Got another cola. And we got a Budweiser. And I can't grab either of them, so... Oh, we got some uh, cereal. Bunk room. Lockers don't open. Anything under the bed? Nope. Put in the drawers. Oh, there's a book. <laughs> there's the uh, useful information book. Okay, Ant, I don't need you to make the, the motions. June 3rd. It's been over a month since I started working at this facility. I've gotten to know the rest of the staff and are good friends with them. Juarez and Ortiz have formed their own little clique. I wish I could understand what they chatter about. Maybe me and Nakamura can create babble fish down in the lab. <laughs> June 8th. Bad news. Apparently InGen wants us to pack up everything and kill all the animals we still have. Evac is supposed to come in just about two weeks. I'm distraught. I've only been here for five days. June 15th. Evacuation came early. However, the helicopter is too small to fit everyone at once. Ortiz, Huang, and Nakamura have already left. Dietrich, Juarez, and I will pick up tomorrow. We'll be picked up tomorrow. Juarez has gone out to kill the remaining dinos. The raptors escaped from their cages. Juarez is nowhere to be found, and the Giga also seems to have escaped. A Giga, you say? Dietrich left to go find Juarez. I'm all alone now. God, I knew I should have just stayed at Palo Alto. Okay, so that's probably the two corpses. Or, I guess the other one wasn't a corpse, it was just a pile of shit. Okay. 
I noticed that there's a switch on top of the light. Nope, doesn't do anything. So, presumably whoever wrote that is the corpse we need the hand from. Unless we have to pull it off of that actual corpse we saw. Swords of Kandar 3. Wasn't that... Wasn't this a poster that was in, like, Nedry's office? And that's why he had the mace? Nothing going on in this bathroom. Sometimes a bathroom is just a bathroom. This one doesn't even have a toilet seat, so it's even safer than the other one. So I guess we know what we need the guns for. <laughs> Giga's probably going to show up when we try to extract... Got spas. And a lot of spasses in the maps I've looked at recently. Alright, yeah, so. We're gonna need a hand with this puzzle. <laughs> Which would explain why it's such a pain in the ass to get to that guy. Since I can't imagine that all of that is just for an MP5. Maybe I should take a gun with me. You never know when danger might appear. And you don't want to be caught unarmed or unhanded. I mean, I know that not everyone finds it funny, but you do kind of got to hand it to me with these puns, right? All right, all right. Like a more hands off approach with my jokes. If they upset you, it's probably just because you can't handle it. <laughs> okay, now I'll stop. God, it's just too easy to make hand jokes. And then you end up with so many that they're just a handful. All right, Mr. Corpse, I'm going to need to liberate one of your hands. Do you have a favorite one that you'd like to keep? I mean, I can grab it. Am I going to have to, like, smash it off with a rock? How about this one? I don't know if this is a puzzle and I need to use an item to get this thing off, or... What? But it seems like we're not able to just rip it off. I mean, I gotta say, that's one thing I never thought I'd be doing in a Trespasser map, is trying to rip off a dead guy's arm in order to open a door. Okay, well, clearly this is not working, so... We need to come up with a solution. I'm trying to think if we saw, like, a hacksaw or something. I, I mean, we have the fan belts. Or, not the belts, but the actual fan itself. I don't know why I said belt. We've got a garage full of tools. One of them's got to be useful for... Removing a hand. Because unfortunately we can't just use the time-tested ability to shoot them off. You know, do a little battlefield surgery as it was, like that guy in Aliens infestation. I almost said eradication again. Those two are forever going to be mixed up in my memory for very similar sounding names. No tools in here. Yeah, I think a garage is our best bet for experimental hand removal procedures.
And again, we have to be open-minded to these puzzles because you don't know what's going to work. Probably don't want to waste the ammo from this good gun. Wait, did I drop it? Well, even if I did, I dropped it where the hand situation is waiting, so I have to go back there anyway. I mean, to me it makes sense that the solution to this puzzle should be in the garage, because there's not actually anything else in there we needed except a puzzle hint, so I would think that it would also be where you find a tool, right? Just make sure it's not behind any of these crates, just in case. I can't grab the big ones. Nothing back there. Pile of tires. Can't grab that. Nothing back there. What is this? No, it's just more oil filters. We got a hubcap. Not sharp enough. Oil filters, boxes. I'm make sure to look behind all the boxes, because you never know when someone might be sneaky and actually hide something you need. Okay, nothing back there. So, I'm thinking my plan to chop it off with a <laughs> with a fan might be the best one. Oh, these are really heavy, though. I'm not sure I can actually carry this back. Now oh, this one's lighter. Nope, never mind. Uh, hmm. Well, this is a possibility, but I'm not feeling great about it, considering its weight. It's weird, though, because it's like sometimes it's heavy, and sometimes she carries it just fine. Maybe it gets stuck in your body? Alright. <laughs> We're going to throw that out here as a possible solution, and then take a quick look around here for any other tools. There are a bunch of these dollies around, but I think those are just for decoration. Kitchen! We got a knife? Or anything? Can't even pick these ones up. Any of these drawers open? What about the dryer? That looks like it's openable. Oh, not that. Nope. There is an interior, but we don't need it. Even the washer has an interior. So we're going to cheat a little bit here. I just want to make sure there's nothing, like, tucked away in anything. You know. Check inside these lockers. Check inside these drawers. Because it could also be possible that there's like a combat knife or something sitting around here. Speak of the goddamn devil. I guess seeing this over here, like the you got the military photos, you got the tank. I was like, this is probably somebody who likes military shit, so they might have one of those old combat knives lying around. That is exactly what we need. So, so far I'm going to say Trespasser Guy did a pretty good job on making this feel intuitive, at least for me. <laughs> I like how she holds it. It's a good uh, stabbing pose. Or for stabbing yourself if you trip. Like, I almost just stabbed my eye out. Well, don't want to drop that. Though I could leave it here. Again, I don't think it's going to disappear. I'm going to gently place it on here because the keycard didn't get lost. We're going to quick save. We're going to make sure that actually did something because... Okay. Usually it hitches for, like, just a millisecond when I do that. So that's how I know it actually went through, but... It didn't do it there. 
I do believe we're going to be accosted after this. But if there is indeed a Giga, then it's not going to show up until we have to get to the helicopter. Alright. Hand removal attempt number two. Well, that was a lot easier. We didn't even have to separate the bone. <laughs> yep. Got a hand on my belt. So, we have this bullpup rifle, and we've got the spas, which should hopefully be enough firepower to take out the boss. Assuming they don't make me use it on my firepower right here. Though, not knowing how much ammo I have is definitely a concern. <laughs> So far, though, very cool map. I can see why the Trustcom folks were psyched about it when it was shown off in the Discord. It did take Trespasser Guy a year and a half to finish this, though, and he did have to kind of put his other maps that he was working on, like Dark Jungle, on hold to do it. But, you know, I would rather a smaller map get finished especially when it needs a bunch of work like this, then have a longer map that takes forever to get finished because they have to do so much for it. Because a lot of the times, like I said, the Trescom mappers will get burnt out on having to do huge maps and they'll have to give up on the project. They certainly don't lack ambition for their maps. All right, we made it into the gene lab. Observe clean rune procedure. Prevent genetic contamination. Well, it's a little too late for that. Just look at the walls. They're not exactly... ...sterile. So yeah, here we've got an embryonics facility, which... I feel like we've never got a fully-fledged embryonics facility in any map. It's been something that a lot of people have wanted. And it seems to be, like, a really... ...really popular part of Jurassic Park 3 is when they go into the embryonics facility. I mean, it's basically just a scene taken from the Lost World novel that they finally put on screen. Fuck. <laughs> My head's stuck in the ceiling. And it sounds like T.I.'s next map, which is the, is the cloning facility, I think it's called. We'll probably have something like this, but, you know, be more central. I'm looking forward to that map, too, though, based on what he said about it and the little bits he's shown. It's like, it was that map and this one that I was actively looking forward to, because those seemed like the two that were going to get finished sometime soon-ish. Soon being very relative. <laughs> yep, just one arm, this whole chair. Okay, these don't even have solidity, but there's nothing in them. Computer still works. Uh... Hmm... Really hope that there's not something important. I mean, it's not like I can... It's not a touch screen, so I don't really need to see what it says. We've got a boa constrictor who is somehow alive. Or perhaps it's just mummified. Because, you know, who's been feeding it otherwise? we got a cuttlefish. Also don't know how this is still alive in an abandoned facility, but cool to see a, an animated cuttlefish in Trespasser. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it, but I mean, people know that I like aquatic stuff, aquatic creatures and aquatic locations. I always love when games will expand upon the underwater stuff, you know, like Minecraft mods that add a bunch of stuff to the ocean, or even a Morrowind mod that added a bunch of stuff to the ocean. But I don't think you could really do an aquatic trespasser map, since swimming is 
Uh, not really a thing. You either float on the surface or you just sink to the bottom. Okay, that one sounded more important when I pressed it. Still don't, uh, still don't know what it said. God damn it. Gotta stop jumping. Okay, well, we need samples, right? Ah, these are really cool. I like that they're kind of held up by the, the wires, though. I mean, I guess you could have made invisible wires, but I think those are, like, heart rate monitors and whatnot. We've got a pair of Sirolophus. We've got... Is that a T-Rex? This one's clearly a raptor. Okay. Nothing in the centrifuge. Nothing in the file cabinet that looks very suspicious when you have the files slightly sticking out like that. So yeah, I don't know uh, what exactly the genetic material will be stored in here. Actually, this is probably a centrifuge. But aren't these also centrifuges? Like smaller ones? Now that you've collected all the DNA data... Okay, we didn't actually need any DNA, we just needed the data. I guess there probably shouldn't be any viable DNA in here, but then again... There also shouldn't be living creatures in terrariums. Especially not in an aquarium, because, you know, you have to... Saltwater creatures are a lot of maintenance just to keep them alive. Much more so than freshwater because of the whole salinity balance on top of everything else. So now we just need to get outside, get our radio, and make the call. There's a raptor in there. Guarding my radio. A dinosaur? What's going on with that dinosaur? I should probably save before this thing kills me. I have no idea how much ammo I have left in this pistol. I think it's like seven shots. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Oh, okay, there's the knife. The knife was a backpack item, not a pocket item. So I should be able to go back here now. I wonder why they spawned in here. I guess because you're supposed to walk out that door. And not the front door. Um, before we go that way, though, I'm going to also grab the shotgun, because we're probably going to need it. Again. Don't really know why I went through the front door, not the garage door. Resist the temptation to use the shotgun to blast open the door. I'm so used to being very laissez-faire about usage of ammo in these maps, because they usually give you either too many guns, or there's just not very many dinosaurs. And here, we've got kind of not very many dinosaurs, but also not very many guns, so it kind of equals out. Instead of just like, hey, I've got more guns than I can ever carry. Though that, that does appear to be the case right now. Okay, got the radio. Oh, I guess I have to use the radio. Received. Okay. Coordinates received. So now we should be able to go back here. And please. Sorry, agent. Much like Ada's imaginary friend, her name shall just be Agent. Okay. Hello everyone, this is Shadefire from the future speaking now, because unfortunately, right at that moment is where I ended up hitting Alt F9 when I met the quicksave, 
kind of muscle memory screwed me over there, and that is my begin and end recording button. So I stopped recording the gameplay video there and only continued recording audio. So that is why this video hasn't been released for the 10 months since it was recorded when this was still a new level, but I am going to essentially try to recreate the end of the level. Thankfully, we only lost a couple minutes of gameplay. Most of the remaining audio is for the uh, main menu talking about the end of the level. So I'm just going to paste in the original audio as best I can here to where it fits. So the rest of this video will be old commentary again, but I'm just letting you know the situation and where this video went for all that time. And now, back to the level. We've got a helipad, but we've also got a conspicuous patch of bushes over there that might have a giga in them. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Guess we're not getting up there. I hope I don't need to use the radio again. <laughs> Oh, okay. I was expecting a little bigger. But this looks manageable. Certainly doesn't look like the... Dominion Giga. Which they felt the need to give fins to. That was all my weapons. Oh, there's something in this Humvee. What is this? It's a rocket? Is this a rocket? For a rocket launcher we don't have? I don't know if I need to load this. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to drop it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to drop it and actually shove the rocket in. Alright, loaded and ready to go to. Oh, I, I mean, this is cool, but also awkward. I don't think I can put this on my back. Oh, you can, there we go. Try to take cover over here. You're extinct. Oh, let me get an ending cutscene. So much for that guy. Honestly, he can't have been dead for long, though, in the South American jungle, otherwise he'd be stripped down to the bone. I don't know how well that can carry over since I can't clap in front of the microphone, but that was me clapping. Good job. That was a great map. And it really shows some of what's possible in CE these days. Probably not easy to do. It's probably awkward to do compared to more modern engines. But just the fact that you can do intro and outro cutscenes like that and a boss fight and like a rocket launcher that you have to shove the rocket into, that stuff was all great. I think this is a great map. Probably one of my favorites I've played in quite some time. But again, it's also the newest map I've played in quite some time, so that definitely factors in. And as you saw, there has to be a trade-off between complexity and size. Because if you try to do complexity and size, that's how you end up having to abandon your project. Whereas if you kind of pick one or the other, you either have a big map, which just has small zones of stuff to do, which is kind of what... Uh, Rebel did with the TC prequel, 
in that it was a very large map, but had concentrated zones of activity, as, I, as I'll call them. Whereas this one, you had a small map, but all of the kind of zones of activity overlap in a way that makes it feel connected, you know? Because I don't think that either map is a bad approach. I enjoyed Rebels map quite a bit for TC Prequel. And the other Trescom Ops maps as well, but TC Prequel, I guess, is the one that was most complete. Well, I guess the first TC map was also pretty much all the way complete. It was only the later two that had to skim down some of what they wanted to do. But yeah, thank you for joining me for a brand new Trespasser map, and thanks to Trespasser Guy for sticking to it. I still remember when he first got into Trespasser modding, because it was back when I was doing custom videos, but like early on. And I remember covering his first map and making a bit of a mess of it. Turns out I missed the entire, I've said this before, but I missed the entire proper progression to finish that map and then just assumed it didn't have an ending when it does. And someday, someday, as I keep saying, I will revisit that map and give it its proper playthrough, as well as a playthrough to get the extra Mayan dungeon ending instead, which is a separate area, I think. So yeah, thanks for joining me. I'm not quite done with Trespasser yet. I still have more custom maps in the immediate future to cover that are working and ready to be played. But until then, you lovely folks all take care.